Hey, what is happening? What is happening, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, price action trading has proven to not work for a lot of traders, guys. But before we get into that, right? So, you know, some of you guys kept on asking me which broker I'm using, and I'm currently using Triple AFX. Been using it for like the longest, bro. You know, um, you know, it's one of the best brokers you could ever find out there, right? So, you can also check it out. The link will be in this video's description, right? So, price action, dog. So I want you guys to understand that the market is being manipulated heavily, right? So, you know, the market is being manipulated heavily. Hence, that is why if you are just going to be like, I mean, I just trade only pure price action and stuff like that. Yes, you are going to get manipulated, right? So that is why I always come out here and I tell you guys to do what? To basically um, try this other trading concept right and try to combine this other trading methods with price action trading for instance we've got the smart money concept we've got um ict and stuff like that and speaking and speaking of ict i'm also going to be revealing to guys um how i find the low and high of the day using order blocks right uh using ict and stuff like that so do stick till the end of this video if you want to see how i how i'm able to catch the high and the low of the day right so now you have to somehow understand that price action alone dog you are going to get manipulated it was way better back then because manipulation wasn't at you know manipulation wasn't that much but now our days as time goes on we then start to see a lot of manipulation so if you are a price action trader listen to me very carefully i'm not saying that price action trading doesn't work but somehow you have to combine it with another trading method to do it to help you strengthen it to help you um um that other method must be the one there are a lot of trading methods there, there are even the market maker method you can combine price action with the market maker method and why would you do that you would actually do that because you want to use the market maker method to do what to basically escape manipulation while you are trading price uh, price action right so simple as the risk guys do not just be here and be like ah me dog i'm just going to throw 10 lines and then i wait for a killstick pattern and then there is it you are most likely going to get manipulated so that is why use ict use the market maker method use a uh, smart money con use every other concept that you, you you find fit right so try and do that and combine it with your price action uh, strategy that way your price action strategy is going to be very very strong guys right so you know um with that being said let us head over to our charts and let me show you guys how i use ict or other blocks to to somehow catch the high and the low of the day cool so let us quickly look at this ICT trading method, guys, right? So uh, you might have heard me speaking a lot about order blocks and stuff like that. And as you guys know, that us traders have different definitions of what an order block is, right? So basically for me, an order block is the last opposite candle before a move to the upward or to the downward. For instance, as you guys can see, that we do have that move to the downward right there, meaning now that an order block is going to be a bullish candle before a move to the downward, right? So for instance, let, let me just show you. This was a what? There was a bullish candle, right? Before what? Before a move to the downward, right? So we can clearly see that price formed what? It formed this bullish candle, right? And then it moved to the downward, right? So now what happens is uh, price is most likely to come back and retest all your, uh, your order blocks, right? As you guys can see, when I draw my zone right there, price moved away from my what? Price moved away from my order block and then came back to retest it. And then that is where most of most of the time you would be looking for your entry when price is retesting your order block. But you know, basically that is just what an order block is. Just to show you guys some few examples also, can clearly see that we did have what that bullish can clip right there right what did price do price moved away from it and then you can clearly see that what happened was uh price moved away and then price moved away and then it came back to the test and then it moved to the downward right so you can, you can also see that there we do have a bullish can clip right there right what did price do let us just throw there let us just throw 
you can clearly see that what did price do price moved away from it and then came back to retest it and then it continued in its move to the downward right so if you do not know what an order block is or if you feel like you're still stuck right i have a ton of videos uh, breaking down how i throw my order blocks and stuff like that also here we can clearly see we did have that bullish candle right there right price moved away from it and then it did what and, and then it came back to retest it moved away from it came back to retest it and then it moved to the downward so now with this information guys you can now be able to find what is called the high of the day or the low of the day right so you can be able to find what is called the high of the day or the low of the day guys so what is the high of the day right so what is the high of the day so basically you cannot find the high and low of the day without having put what is called period separators right so there's this thing that is called what there's this thing that is called period separators guys right so basically on trading view go to events and then you go to session breaks and then on your mt4 you just simply go to settings and then you go to period separators right so this is now one full day right one full day right one full day so on and so forth guys right so this is this is now going to help you to identify the low and high of the day as you guys can see that on this particular day which was the low there was the low of that particular day where was the high there was the high of that particular day where was the low of this particular day there was the low of that particular day where was the high of that particular day there was the high of that particular day right so where was the high of that particular day there was the high of that particular day there was the low of that particular day right so there was the low of this particular day and also there was the high of this particular day so basically um in this video we are just going to, uh, i'm just going to be teaching you guys how you can then trade from the high how you can then somehow identify that okay sharp this is the high of this day and then you do it and then you sell right so now i'm going to be somehow teaching you how you can see the high of the day and then you know after you've just put that okay sharp there is the high of the day you then sell right simple as a result so the first thing that you may want to do is you may somehow want to go over to your four hour time frame because there is the time frame that you are going to use to get what to get our order block right which you are going to use to catch um to catch um uh, uh the, the the daily high and the daily low right so for instance let us just say that we want to catch the high of this particular day let's just say that we want to catch the high of what of this particular day right there, this particular day right there or let us just grab that the high of that particular day right there let us then go over to our lower time frame excuse me let's just go over to our lower time frame so let us just say that we want to actually catch the high of that particular day right there right so of this particular day right we want to enter from that high and then we want to then sell right we want to uh, to, to know that okay sharp this is now the high of this day and then we want to sell so here's the catch right so here price when price forms this high when price forms this daily high it must be retesting a what a h4 order block which formed on the previous day right so on this day on this day on the previous day there must be an h4 order block that price is somehow doing what that price is somehow retesting right that is the first step right so basically you just simply look at your previous day and then you just simply throw your h4 order block meaning now that we are just simply going to go over to our four hour time frame there we have our four hour time frame right and where is where is the previous day there is the previous day right there and there we throw our what and there we throw our rectangle right there right marking our order block that formed on the previous day marking our four hour order block right so now what is going to happen is price is supposed to move to the downward like that and then the following day price is supposed to come back and retest that four hour order block right so price is supposed to then come back and retest that four hour order block and then move away from it just like we did see happening right here right simple so basically as you guys can see now i'm on my 15 minutes time frame so basically as you guys can see what happened here is price then moved to the downward moved away from my order block and then on this day that we are going to place a sell on right so it then came back and then it 
just tested our order block that formed the, the previous day and then it moved to the downward right so now once price reaches your order block section here once price reaches uh, your yesterday's four hour order block you then focus on these time frames the 15 minutes time frame 30 minutes time frame one hour time frame and two hour time frame you can focus you can also use the three hour time frame but you know the the the, the risk to reward ratio is 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 somehow not going to be uh, that much a uh, uh, nice right so the reason why you want to use this this small time frame is that you know um this is some sort of like intraday strategy right so you are not wanting to hold for weeks and stuff like that you just want to find the high of this day right and then maybe uh close your trade the same day or the following day so that is why you need this time frame so now you are going to be somehow waiting for a bearish and graphing candlestick pattern on this blue section to actually do a two basically form right so you just want a bearish and graphing candlestick pattern to form either on your 15 minutes time frame 30 minutes time frame on our time frame or to our time frame so 15 minutes time frame you can clearly see we never had any 30 minutes time frame just go over to our 30 minutes time frame beautiful you can clearly see that on our 30 minutes time frame we then had a what on our 30 minutes time frame we then had ourselves a what a bearish and golfing candlestick pattern right so now this means now that this is most likely the high now this means now that there is now the high of this day once price comes back and then it retests this, uh, your yesterday's four hour order block and then it gives you a bearish and golfing candlestick pattern, right? There is, if you want to sell, that means now that there is the high, right? So now you can sell comfortably knowing now that, okay, sharp, that is the high of that day. Your stop loss is where it's just a, 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 a above that, uh, a, 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 that high, right? And then you just simply sell and price obviously is not going to come back on that uh, or, or on the high of that day in fact it is just going to continuously uh, move to the downward right simple as it is guys so basically you can you can clearly see here you just simply look at the previous day right where is your four, four hour order block there is your four hour order block right there right you just simply come here there's what there is your four hour order block where there is a four hour order block you just simply throw it and then the following day you wait for price to come back and retest your four hour order block let us then try and get in deep just a tiny little bit guys so that um you know i make sure that you guys understand what i am unpacking to you guys here let us try and get in deep guys let us try and get in deep excuse me let us wait for it there we go um let us then look for our order block let us then look for our order. for instance here with guys this is too beautiful so basically here guys you can clearly see that what happened here you can clearly see that okay sharp ne? um let us say that we want to find the law of this day. this is this is too easy this is this is just too easy let us say that we actually want to catch what we actually want to catch this law right let us say that we actually want to catch what we actually want to catch that low as you guys can see what happened here, price actually formed that low and then it just simply and nicely moved to the upper let us just say that we want to catch what let us say that we want to catch that low of the day right there right so it's going to be pretty much simple first thing that you may want to do is an h4 order block has to form here meaning now that you need a bearish candle that formed before a move to the upward right so you need an h4 order block that formed on this uh, uh or, or yesterday right so you want to somehow catch that um and just somehow catch that low right so now we have to have an order block where there yesterday right so there we go let us then look at yesterday where was where was yesterday here is yesterday guys here is yesterday the one that we marked using a blue hat a blue uh a thingy right so now there is your order block there is your order block right there is your order block right and as you can see what did price do price moved away from your order block yesterday and then it came back the following day that is what you want right so it came back when the following day price then came back when price then came back the following day guys right price then came back the following day and then when it came back the following day 
on your one hour time frame, let me just remove this. On your one hour time frame, it then came and then it gave us a what? And then it gave us a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. There is our bullish engulfing candlestick pattern right there. Where on this bearish order block, on this order block, right? Price came back the following day and then gave us this bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. So this now means now that there is the law of this particular day. Price is not going to go below where price is most likely not going to go below there. So you then buy. Right? You then buy. And as you guys can see what happened, price then nicely did what? Excuse me. Price then nicely moved to the upward. Simple. Simple. Price then nicely did what? Moved to the upward. As you guys can see what then happened. Right? This is so, 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 so simple. Right? Rather than try and get in deep. So here, guys, you can clearly see that if we wanted, let me just get here. Just come here. And then let me preferably go over to my lower time frame right there. Let me go over to my lower time frame right there. So you can clearly see here, guys, that we did have the low of this day. We did have the low of what? We did have the low of this day. The low of what? The low of this day, right? Where was the low of this day? There was the low of this day, meaning price wasn't able to go less. It wasn't able to go below that price point where right there. So we did have the low of this day, right? So, or you already know, guys, so, right? So now what you then, if the law of this day actually forms, right? So it has to be retesting an H4 order block that formed yesterday, Right, so let us see what happened yesterday. Let us see whether we do have an order block yesterday. Where is yesterday? Here is yesterday, guys. As you guys can see, let us then throw. There we go. Beautiful. So you can clearly see what happened here, guys. Right, so price moved away from our order block, and then the following day it then came to retest our order block, forming our daily low, and then it moved to the upward. Right. Let us then go over to our lower time frame so that you can see what I'm talking about. So now you can clearly see that price came the following day, guys, right? It came the following day. And then on our 15 minutes time frame, what did it then do? It then came and then it gave us a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern where here, while it was retesting our H4 order block, right? This is one full day. Right? And also, there is one full day right there. Simple. It then gave us gave us a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern. And as you guys can see what happened, it then shot uh, to the upward. Simple as it is, guys. Right? So that's it for this vlog, guys. I hope you did find value. If you did, do smash on the like button for me. See you on the next one. Goodbye.